What's up guys? Thank you for tuning back to Everybody is Texas. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning back in. So, I greet you all according to your time zone. Every lovely subscribers out there, I greet you all specially. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today, like I promised in my previous video, yes, that today I'm going to share with you my face regimen that I do in the daytime and in the nighttime. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it as we go along. And there's a special um, procedure that I usually do for my face. I do it like once a month. I uh, I will not call it microneedling per se because I don't use the needle. I use the nano needling. Um, just hold on. Oh, yes. Yeah. I use the nano needle because that one doesn't, it's just not really a needle per se. I'll take a picture and put it on the screen. So I use a nano needle and I use it, uh, this is the needle and, and I put it on the machine and I use it with uh, a cocktail that I made for my face. Uh, that cocktail contains some um, goodies like raw, pure, in the purest form of glutathione and uh sheep's placenta and just some goodies <laughs> they're all in there so this is what i'm going to use to needle the serum into my skin and uh, i'll take you guys straight so guys please do me a solely please do me a solely and subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into it so my face is so big i'm gonna take off this take this off okay this is me in all my glory okay so let's go straight into it so the first thing I do, usually like, uh, okay, this is usually for the night when I wake up in the, when I have makeup on, when I'm just back from my outing and the night before I sleep, I wipe my face. I use my wiper. This is a, this is actually a new one. This is the old one, just out. This is a new one. So what I do is I wipe my face first wipe off all the makeup so even i'm not putting makeup i've been slaving in the kitchen all day went to the market uh been to the office to attend a patient quickly that was about to travel so i went there just gave her some botox injection and uh so this lady in the kitchen so yeah look at the face see, see how dirty that is so i use this wipe and the wipe is uh aloe vera aloe vera cleansing wipe yes it's my neck as well because i don't like to leave. so just cleaning the makeup off and yeah my neck as well and when you're white no matter the style of hair you have on please do not forget to clean your ears we always leave that out so yeah i'm not going to show you how my hair how dirty it is but then yeah back of your ears we tend to neglect that a lot that's just the truth you know we don't always remember and i say we because i'm guilty too so that's it and after that the next thing i do because no matter how you wipe uh, makeup off there's still residue left i use a cleanser this is a pear cardin paris pear cardin it's a uh, cleansing milk uh consists of glycerin vitamin e all skin types cleanses and nourishes the skin paraben free but uh, i'll take pictures and put on the screen for you you know me now so i cleanse with this I'm doing this in my room so when it's time to wash i'll just pause the video and go wash okay so i use this cleansing milk all over my face wipe my face massage it through because of all the makeup under the eyes so you guys excuse me i'll go wash this off now so I'm done uh, rinsing the cleansing milk off, but I'm not done yet. So the next one I use is the vitamin C, uh, QX5, QX5 vitamin C. You can see that. So I like this wash because it's gentle. It's gentle. It doesn't leather that much, so it shows that it doesn't contain harsh soap. I like it because it's very, very gentle, as you can see. It doesn't leather that much. Yeah, but it really does the job. It does the job. Okay. My neck. Okay. 
All right, so guys, I'm gonna wash this off, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done washing that off, and um, now I have this scrub by Simple. I like this scrub because it's a very gentle exfoliating. The the scrub, the particles in there are not big and it's not harsh so it doesn't injure your skin because all this uh, strong uh, harsh scrub that have granulars the granulars in them some of them are quite harsh and sharp they could cut your skin without you even seeing it without you seeing it so this one doesn't contain that a very tiny 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 sandy even smaller than sand particles granulars in there for scrubbing so it's quite mild you know if you know about a simple product you know their product it's gentle and mild so that's why i like the scrub but then i scrub on my face only once a week so that's why i had to wait today that i'm doing the scrubbing i scrub only uh once a week i don't scrub every day you know that's bad for your skin so i use this and i scrub a small amount goes a long way so I'm just gonna wet my face and scrub it real good. Okay. Wet my face. So I can scrub it really good. It's a very, very good scrub, trust me. Okay. I paused the video a bit to go get some water on my face, scrub it inside the brow, corners of the head where hair products always stay. Like that scrub it gently not with all your power scrub it gently in a circular motion do not forget your neck okay i'm done with that if you wash properly i don't wipe I dab. I'm just dabbing through it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my toner. I won't really call it a toner per se, it's a micellar water. Doc, Dr. Rachel, Dr. Rachel, all in one micellar cleansing water, removes even waterproof makeup, cleanses plus comfort, delicate for skin and eye no rinse no hash rubbing so you don't have to rinse it off that's why i use it as my toner honestly this is a very gentle cleanser so this is what i use put some in there and wipe under the eyes corners of the eyes top of the eyes in case i have any makeup there and just go gently because i just scrub my face so I want a gentle the size I'm going to be doing some okay so now is the point where I'm doing my micro uh, nano needling if I wasn't doing this after I use the micellar water what I do is I use my uh, face serum that is in the night but in the daytime after washing besides I, I don't scrub in the daytime it's not advisable to scrub in the daytime you scrub in the night put all your products so they penetrate and you sleep with it because that's the best time when your face it's in a resting face so that's when you scrub and not every night as well once in a week or how it suits you depending on your skin type so if you were in the daytime after washing cleansing what I do now is apply my face cream my day face cream and my day face cream is uh, hold on This is my day face cream, simple. This moisturizer, face moisturizer, really moisturizes the face. It keeps the face moisturized without sweat. It's not heavy. No, it's not. It's very light and it's good for sensitive skin. It says replenishing, rich moisturizer, 12 hours moisturization, antioxidant plus anti pollution, uh, vitamin B5, vitamin E, niacinamide, kind to skin for all skin type try this face this thing i'm going to make some review about some of these products i'm showing you so this is what i use in the daytime after using this i put on my sunscreen show you my so after my 
uh, face moisturizer I put my sunscreen this is the sunscreen I use okay don't worry guys I'm gonna put every picture uh, on the camera it's the Sun Sun multi sun cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 whitening anti wrinkle no white cast I'm going to make a review about all this. Uh, the sunscreen blocks UVA and UVB at the same time, protecting the skin from UV rays for a long time. It contains adocyne and niacinamide. I think the niacinamide is why they say it's a uh, whitening. Yes, uh, because it does lighten pigmentation. Niacinamide does. So after uh, my face lotion, my sunscreen. And I'm good to go if I have to put any makeup usually I don't like putting on makeup during the daytime so now since it's the night uh, that's the day my day face time routine. so the night one I want to do my uh, face uh, this thing nano needle so this is the cartridge the nano cartridge okay so this one doesn't really contain a needle per se it's just a simple I don't know, something uh, rough in the beginning. Wow, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Um, I brought the wrong cartridge from my office. I don't, I don't have them at home. I brought them from the office and this is the wrong cartridge. It, does, it doesn't fit it. So I'm sorry but I have to do this some other time for you guys. So please bear with me. I promise you I'll do it. My next video is definitely going to be my micro nano needling of my face so please bear with me this is the wrong needle guys my apologies the thing that i was really looking forward to because i had scrubbed my face exfoliated and i just couldn't wait to start putting that serum into my face jeez i feel so disappointed what was i thinking anyway so the next thing i do after cleansing my face with my micellar water i take my snail mosin uh this is these are three serums i'm going to use on my face and the reason why i use these three serums is because i exfoliated my face okay so i exfoliated my face because i want an easy penetration of good nutrients into uh, good nutrients from the product into my face that's why i exfoliated if i didn't exfoliate what i do is i just have this one serum give me a moment I just have this one serum that contains a uh, retinol and there's some other stuff I mixed in it that I, I use but since I have exfoliated my face I don't want to use that retinol because it might be too harsh you know the skin is very vulnerable right now so I'm going to just put in my snail mousse in because this carries a lot of moisturizing if you guys remember this is the snail mousse in that I bought last year I'm still using it because I just need a little quantity so and I use it mostly when I moisturize when I exfoliate my face my neck under my eyes top of my eyes just spread that evenly all over my face and see how fast my skin has sucked it in just sucked it in really fast like really really fast because the skin is just open now and so vulnerable and hungry and tasty for nutrients next serum is the skin lab vitamin c vita c skin lab vita c i'll put a picture up on the screen for you i love this serum this is what it looks like i love this serum this serum is one of the best vitamin C serum I've come across and it's quite pricey too I'm not saying it's because it's pricey that's why it's good it's good that's all I can say it's good okay maybe that's why it's pricey but my point is I have seen products that are not pricey that are very good okay the product doesn't need to be pricey to do its job it can be pricey and still not give you what it's supposed to give you you get see everything is just sinking in so fast like my skin is literally just sucking everything in so fast as you can see I've put two serums now but yet my skin is not oily it's not oily it's rather looking fresh and moisturized and it's it's so dry well not dry per se but smooth 
and just damp dampen feels good smooth on my hands like yeah so that's it you can't see anything now my skin has just literally sucked it in so the last one uh serum i apply is this one it's a korean product very good it says beauty of joseon i put it on the screen for you they make i not go bite my tongue so this is what it looks like this one is very 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 expensive to but it's good it's good like i said not because of the price but because of what it does a little bit more for my neck there you go never ever neglect your neck under the eyes mm -hmm. I put this one as the last serum because it's take some time to dry up whereas the other two the snail mousseine uh, the skin love vita c doesn't waste time once you put it just the skin just magnets it suck it all in or this one takes some time to dry up so what i do is after i put that up uh if it's still a bit moist and i want it to dry quickly i just take my fan and i my hand fan and i use it like this it's already dried in yeah for my face cream i use this one now uh aden aden uh it's actually i think it's a day cream i say so because it contains spf 30 but because it says whitening i'm using it in the night Mind you, I've said it several times on this channel, I do not advocate for using whitening product during the daytime. No, I don't advocate for that. So, it says SPF, but I use it in the night because it says uh, whitening, whitening anti-aging free uh, cream. And um, anti-aging whitening cream, uh, clears acne blemishes, removes, removes dark spots and wrinkles. It contains glutathione, ironic acid, and whitens and smoothens the face. Basically, that's all this I throw with the pack. And uh, this is a facial spray, like a face spray. It's hydrated. It's a cucumber. Cucumber. Cucumber moisturizing facial spray. Yeah. So I use that and I spray that on my face. If you notice with every procedure I do, I don't play with hydrating my face. I don't play with it. I love hydrating my face. Especially after exfoliating your face. You want to give your face as much hydration as possible. That's it. I'm so loving my face right now, like, gosh. It's my face. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I'm not going to bed right now. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a movie. So, yeah, feel good. I'm gonna spray that some more. Okay. And I'm not gonna rub that in, I'm just gonna dry it. Yes. Hmm. My face feels so good right now, like so good, so brand new. Literally. And the cooling effect of that cucumber spray just seals it in, seals everything in. So guys, there you have it. This is my facial routine for the for daytime and nighttime. This is what I do. But like I promised, please pardon me, forgive me. I forgot I took the wrong cartridge for the needling of the face. So that would be, I'll do it. I promise you. I owe you. <laughs> Guys, I owe you. Please pardon me, okay? I want this to really dry up. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. So I'll see you in my next video. Please give this video a thumbs up and thank you all for watching.
see you guys next time bye